October is here, league play, and even the postseason not that far away. Thanks for joining us. I am Steve Montoya, and this is the Max Wire. Now, before we get to a top play, our top performers, and a game to watch for, we are joined on the phone by Woodland Christians head coach, Coach Bruce Peelstick. First, first of all, Coach, thanks for joining us, and congratulations on the 5-0 and start. Thank you so much. Uh, we're excited about what's happening, and uh, thank you for uh, asking me to be a part of the show. Hey, Coach, we want to talk about your QB, Anthony Castaneda. And, Coach, got to ask this first. How come he wears the number 21? <laughs> well, that's a, that's a baseball number that he's had, but he uses it in all three sports that he plays, basketball, baseball, and football. So uh, it doesn't bother me, but the old-timers remember a guy named John Hadle who played for the Chargers and the Rams who wore the same number. Hey, Coach, tell us about his size and, and what impresses you the most about his play at QB. Well, he's got about 6'5 and a quarter and about uh, 228. And, uh, you know, he, I thought that he had, as a younger kid, he kind of uh, lumbered a little bit, but he's gotten way quicker. Uh, he has a very good delivery. Um, he throws close to 90 in baseball. Uh, but uh, this last week, he scrambled for a 38 yard run on his own and just broke a couple tackles and took off. And so he has that ability for a big man. Uh, to be able to do a lot of things and what excites me is that obviously his size he sees well he has a, a tremendous arm and uh you know once he gets his feet set he throws accurate balls and and can move us down the field quickly now coach uh, you mentioned baseball he's a three sports standout so we we read he can he bats near 500 but you, like you said he can pitch as well yeah he, he's uh he's just a really good baseball player he's already been offered um uh, by a local team here, a local college here in baseball. And, uh, you know, he just has some great ability. That was his first love. and uh, But he has really come to love the game of football, too. And, Coach, uh, he plays basketball as well. So being a three-sport standout at the school, he's got to be one of the best athletes, I'd assume, at your school. Oh, there's no question. Um, you know, he for him to be able to be all league in all three sports, and he's been all league for a while here, uh, this says a lot about him. Uh, he's also a, uh, a 3.9 student and, uh, you know, extra competitor in the classroom as well. And finally, Coach, his college plans, you mentioned, uh, is he going to play baseball in college, football, or has he decided that yet? Well, I think that he uh, was offered a scholarship in baseball at Sacramento State. And so that would be what he would be leaning towards right now. But uh, we'll see what happens this season because we're starting to get a lot of feelers from a lot of other colleges. Uh, his situation was that he took a year off, so there's some colleges that uh, he slipped under the wire, but now he's being looked at by a lot of people. So we'll see what happens. Hey, Coach, thanks again so much for joining us. We wish your team and you and, and Anthony the best the rest of the way. Thank you so much. All right, that's Coach Bruce Peelstick of Woodland Christian. All right, it's time we get to our Greater Sacramento Play of the Week, and this is Sutter High School right here, and it's going to be junior quarterback Randy Post. He first pulls off the great play fake, which is, allows tight end Brand Bonifant to get open and look at his speed, finding open space for the end zone. We're going to rewind that again to see it from a different angle. You can see the tight end dragging across the middle. Then he uses his speed. One catch on the night it was for 50 yards so he made the best of that speaking of catches we have our top performers of the week from sheldon high school that's qb nolan merker and wide receiver teron johnson merker completed 26 of 39 passes for 447 yards and five tds 13 of those passes went to teron johnson who finished the night with 277 yards and four touchdowns. What a night 
for those two. Okay, before we go, let's get to our game to watch for for this week as the 4-0 Ponderosa Bruins travel to play the 3-1 Rio Linden Knights. Ponderosa is averaging over 37 points a game while only allowing just over four. Now, Rio Linda is coming off a shutout win over a tough center team. These two met last year at Ponderosa, and Rio Linda won 15 to 13. This should be another defense of battle. Thanks for joining us on the Max Wire. I am Steve Montoya, and this is America's Source for high school sports.